So we have a, a, the Science and Maths Academy at Flinders for Year 12 students and, and really it's all about enabling Year 12 students who might not otherwise get the opportunity to do physics or chemistry or specialist maths to do so and to come here on campus and do it here. These were students who were already interested in these subjects but we wanted to inspire them to go further to see the possibilities of university. It actually raises aspirations for our students. So for some of our students, they may have nobody in their family who's gone to university before. It might not even be, um, I guess, in their current planning or in their pathway planning that they might one day consider university. So some schools might not have um, senior secondary physics or chemistry or specialist math teachers. Other schools might not have enough students to make it viable to run a class in those subjects. Small classes is a problem because um, they don't have anybody really to compare themselves to. How am I really going? How does it look like, you know, better? Can I, could I do better? Do people do better? We choose teachers from the participating schools who are the best at what they do to deliver to our students collectively across the schools in the university environments. So students get to use equipment and do practicals in an environment that schools can only dream about. Our principal introduced us to it last year. She told us about how we'll go to Flinders if we do the subject, and we basically chose whether we wanted to do the subject based on that. It was um, only one day a week, oh, two days a week really, but um, I went every day, couldn't stop myself. For the orientation day, we came here and it was like starting high school again. Uh, we got to look around, we got to meet all the teachers and see everyone we'd be in classes with and it was really good just to get a feel of what we'd be doing. In schools, mostly it's one teacher, one classroom. What we've been able to achieve at SMATH are teams of teachers. I do like having multiple teachers. You do have a certain marking teacher, um, I find that good, um, but you can send drafts to other teachers and things like that, so it's good to just you know, get a bit of um, perspective from different teachers. Back at school we have um, three teachers who mentor the students and they do a fabulous job and they stay connected with the teachers at the program. Flinders have been fantastic in providing lots of PD for not just the teachers that are up there, but for the tutors, they've had guest speakers, they've had cafe scientifics, so there's also been a real capacity building for teachers. In specialist math we had a mathematician come in, he works with statistics and that really helped me because I want to do a degree in mathematical sciences and that showed me that there is places to go after I do that degree. I think SMATH definitely helped uh, getting me to where I wanted to be and recognising that this is where I wanted to be and that is doing a double degree in both aerospace, mechanical engineering and bachelor of science. So the uni lecturers here, they just treat you like an adult so I can just get the work done at my own pace and, and I know I will get it done because I've, you know, I've got that want to do it. Well, if you have the opportunity to come here for the Flinders program, uh, I'd definitely do it. It's a lot better because you have a lot more freedom and it's just generally a nicer environment to be in. It has raised the bar. There is no two ways about it. We have an agreement from the seven schools involved now that at year 11, every student will study a full year of that subject that they're going on with. There's a whole of government STEM skills strategy, STEM being science, technology, engineering and maths. And it's really about making sure that young South Australians are in the right place, they've got the right skills to make the most of the opportunities that are going to be available in the future. But I think it's about the value addedness, just what the kids get to experience, what they get to access there at the university. We could never do that. What we're doing here is we're setting up young South Australians with that solid scientific education in order to innovate, in order to respond to change, in order to shape the future.